In this quick tip, we're going to learn how to set up overflow in groups to allow for content within to scroll vertically. This is useful for displaying lists of static or dynamic content while maintaining the height of other elements on the page. To set this up, it requires content to be taller than the container. We'll set it up with this group here. Currently, these groups are the same size because they all have the same text element within them. It's this size that we want to maintain, but as we copy and paste more text into this group, our text elements expand the group itself. This is because our max height for this group is set to infinite. So how do we cut the content off and then make it scroll? To cut the content off, we must give it the same max height, which in this case is 300 pixels. Then we check allow vertical scrolling when content overflows. Because the content was larger than 300 pixels, but we've capped the group's max height at 300 pixels, with the vertically scrolling when content overflows is checked, we'll be able to scroll down our group and our group will only be 300 pixels tall. This is what we call overflow. When content is larger than the group it's in, the content overflows and we scroll down it instead. Make sure your design has enough vertical height to add all the elements you need into your group. If it doesn't, try building it on a separate page and copying it over instead. If it's possible, an even more efficient way to set this up would be to create a reusable element. That way, you can set the reusable element to the height needed for all of your content. This gives you an entire canvas to build your scrolling group separate from your main page. And when you add the reusable element to the page, you can enable the vertical scrolling property and give the reusable element the desired max height. As your app gets more complex, branching sections off like this makes it more manageable. That's it for this quick tip. For more, be sure to check out Bubble Academy.